hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're coming across my channel for the first time please don't leave without subscribing and to you all subscribers i say thank you for passing by again so today's video is going to be like a chit chat video and it's all this video talks is all about all those women that goes about fighting side chick fighting their husband's side chick it happens today one woman after dropping her child off to school, she went and gathered two of her friends to fight a fellow lady. To fight a fellow woman. Just because she suspected or heard that this woman was, was dating her husband, was sleeping with her husband. So she was there fighting, naked all over. Because during the fight, they thought their clothes, she tore the lady clothes, the lady tore her own clothes. But the worst thing is that she went and gathered two of her friends to fight this particular lady. If you know you are strong, you are a strong woman, why didn't you go alone? Why didn't you go and fight alone instead of going to gather two other friends to go and beat up a lady like you? To beat up a lady like you just because your husband was cheating on you, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be very, very ashamed of yourself because I see that you had no shame. The husband you are fighting for is at home relaxing. When would ladies stop fighting their fellow ladies just because their husband cheated on, on them with their fellow women? Go and solve your problem at home. The main problem is at home. The he got he called your husband is a problem, not the side chicks. She fought this lady to the extent that the white people had to call police on her. I was there when they pushed her into a car, to the police car, taking her to the police station. I'm sure she was not going to release that. She'll be released that day. She will be jailed because the lady she beat up is going to sue her. And when she does that, she's going straight to jail. Or better still, be deported to Nigeria. What happened to your kids? She was there crying when the police were... Uh, was taking her away telling the police that I, ha I have to go and pick my son at school by one o'clock the policeman asked her didn't you talk didn't you think about this before fighting in the street didn't you think about this before fighting on the street they had to call her husband at work to tell him to make sure he go and pick his son at school because his wife was there busy fighting a fellow woman when will you lady stop Disgracing yourself. When will you stop fighting your fellow women? Enough is enough. Nigerian women, please stop disgracing yourself. Stop putting your other fellow women in danger. Italians have had it up here. We have bad reputations all over Europe because of people like you disgracing yourself on the street of Italy. On the street of Europe. Tomorrow you will see yourself on social media with your pants all tall, all, 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 all tall. Who told you that that lady you fought that day is going to be the, 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 the last? Who told you? How many of them are you going to fight in a year? Let me tell you something you don't know. That particular lady you went on to fight today. She and your husband are going to settle in secret. If you don't know, they are going to settle themselves in secret and their relationship will become stronger if you don't know. Stop disgracing yourself by going after side chicks while the main problem is in your house. The he go to call your husband. He is the irresponsible one, not the side chicks. You fought today. How many can you fight in a year? I want to know. I wonder why women think that side chicks are really their problems. Side chicks are not your problems. Your husbands are your problems. If you as a woman, you are married to a cheater, you have two options, my dear. You either seek for a divorce and live 50 years more to your years or choose to live a miserable life. Choose to be depressed in your home. 
go around with all kinds of disease. It's your choice. But please, leave your fellow women out of it. Imagine you going out fighting your fellow women. And at the end of the day, you go back to the higo to call your husband. Open your leg and allow him in. You should be ashamed of yourself, my dear. I've had it up here. Of you Nigerian people going about. Spoiling other people's name. Enough is enough. Everywhere you go, Nigerians. Everywhere you go, Nigerians. What is it? Are we the only black people in Europe? Are we the only black people? If you, if you catch your husband cheating on you, deal with him at home. Instead of going about fighting your fellow women. The worst, you went ahead and gathered two people. Making it three. To fight just one person. What if she fainted and died? Then your case will be like Miriam own. Miriam's case is all over social media. Trending everywhere. What if the lady died? You will be in prison. Have you thought of your children before doing such things? And who assured you that by fighting her, your husband is going to let go? My dear, you just started. This be the best way to deal with a shitty husband is either you divorce and live alone or just put yourself at rest and live a miserable life with him for the rest of your life. Hmm? Because I realize that some women, they prefer dying in silence, living with a shitty man, pretend that everything is okay, but at the back they will go and be fighting the side chicks. The side chicks are not your problem, my dear. The problem is in your home. The he go to call the husband. Go and deal with that. Deal with him. You know how to deal with him. Not going and fighting everybody on the street. You fought one today. You fight one tomorrow. You fight another one day after tomorrow. My dear, how many can you fight in a year? Are you really ready for these things? Are you in for this? I'm sure you are going to rot in jail. Hmm? Because according to some people that saw you fighting that day, one was, tell, uh, uh, was there telling you, Madam, you again? You are still fighting woman again because of the useless husband you have at home? How many are you going to fight, my dear? How many? Don't end up being like Miriam. She's now sentenced. Hmm? Who knows if she's going to see her children again? Don't allow your own case to be like hers. A cheating man remains a cheating man. He will always cheat. And to you women, because most of you were there, blaming your fellow woman that day, that they're actually the reason why their husband goes about cheating. How? That they are the reason why their husband goes about cheating, that maybe they don't wear the, the sexiest nightgown, they don't wear the, the most beautiful pyjamas at night. They are their tiny wrapper all over the place. Some of them were raised like that. If not because you come out from the village, come to Europe, you are among the people that sit tiny wrapper to sleep, my dear. So stop demoralizing your fellow women by telling them they are the reason why their husband cheats on them. Just because they are not wearing nice things at home. Or maybe they are not cooking the best soup. No matter how sweet your soup may be, my dear, and no matter how sexy your undies may be, a cheater will always be a cheater. So stop saying all sorts of rubbish that because she's, she's, she, she didn't wear a, a nice things or maybe her foods are not sweet. So if you know that you're going to be with him like that, it's your choice. But let your fellow women be. Okay? Enough of all this nonsense. Nigeria ni kwa, Nigeria ni la. Eh? E ora di finirla. Quando troppo e troppo. Ci siamo capiti. I've said my own. It's your choice, oh. There is more to life than fighting your fellow women. Life is sweet.
enjoy it while it lasts. There's nothing like rest of mind. Hmm? There's nothing like rest of mind, you. But stop disgracing yourself all over your room. Enough is enough. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.